Ew. Yeah, I walked out. I'm walking out there. I'm coming. The way I see it, there's two types of people. Those who spend their lives trying to build a future, and those who spend their lives trying to rebuild the past. For too long, I've been stuck in between. Hidden in the dark. What was I really doing walking in there with my bad haircut and ridiculous shirt? Was I there to make something right? Or was I just using a messed up situation to indulge myself, grasping at some desperate delusion of control? Maybe the two went hand in hand more than I cared to admit. Where's she going? Hey, where are you going? I'm gonna hang out with you. You know where Fabiana is? Hey! Let me in! Fabiana! You in there? Oh, alright. Hey, a bar. Look that over there. I want a drink. Okay, I don't. What the hell? Oh! Look at their dancing. I had stumbled into some kind of street party. This was the kind of reality Americans paid top dollar to see. Slums had become tourist attractions, places where yuppies could gawk at the endless spirit of the poor from the inside of their bulletproof buses. I felt dumb and exposed. I missed the booze. Not that it mattered, sober or drunk, I was hardly undercover. I stood out in this place like a street walker in a monastery. <laughs> uh oh. And that's why you shouldn't have trusted the kid. Oh, she's shaking her body. Look at her go. What are you doing here? Uh, what do you need? Uh, easy, pal, easy. Oh, shit. Uh, look, I didn't mean any offense. Desculpa, amigo, por favor. What the? Oh, they're taking his watch. No! Hey, don't call me a puta. Oh, Nova Esperanza. All was considered, I was going to have to look on this as a good outcome. I was deep in gang territory. These kids were raised hating clowns like me. Middle income ass kickers who protected the rich by shooting kids like them. Hey. Uh, I don't got shit now. That's nice. First day off the sauce and somehow I'd still ended up in the gutter. Walking through shit. Oh. <sighs> Great. This is nice. What's going on over here, huh? I hear people. I smell like shit. Not the first time, but certainly there won't be the last time. I since I've been here. It was that Brazilians came out of the womb kicking a ball. And for kids like these, was their one legal chance at a ticket out of here. Uh, football! Hey kids, come over here. I want to talk. And I totally don't look like a pedophile. Uh-oh, they're being called away. What are they talking about? Americans. There's nobody. The, the guy's not there anymore. Why was he laughing? All right. I kept walking down the road, not knowing where it would lead. But, no, who are these people? Oh, that big guy. <laughs> what are we laughing about? Uh, I'm a little lost. Perdido? Onde uh, estu? No lugar errado, rapá. Rapá? I need a phone, a telephone. Bora. Publico. 
A gente não é centro de informação turística, não. Well, they weren't gonna help me. Shh, and who could blame them? I was a dumb American in a place where dumb Americans were less popular than the clap. <laughs> I was gonna find my way out of this mess. I was on my own. All right. I left me some booze. But I'm off the booze. You guys have some groceries over there. It looked like there was a bar up ahead. The irony was not lost on me. I figured sobriety was no use to me dead. Anything back there? Nope. There's a bar up there. Oh, there's like a strip club over there. Hey. High five. High five. <laughs> Where are you going? Oh, damn it. Everybody walked away from me the second I walked up to them. I felt like a freak clown in some sort of freak clown movie. The irony wasn't lost on me. Yeah. That didn't open. Kind of sucked. There's trash all over the place here. Up oh, boobies. Up oh, more boobies. And booties. Booty boobies. Uh, uh, uh. These guys up to. Oh. What? I'm going in. Shut up. <laughs> It's club time. Uh oh. Dirty. Ew. That lady was bigger. I hoped this classy looking establishment would have a phone so I could call Passos. Either that or a gun so I could shoot myself and save these kids the bother. The telephone. Telephone. Vai, lá no fundo. Segue em frente. When you're stuck in a foreign country and you don't know the words for reverse charges and you're in some lonely skin joint in the middle of some poor slum having just had every last cent robbed from you and you call yourself a bodyguard, then you know you're a loser. Hey Matt, can I buy you a beer? Who's that dude? Do I know you? I don't think so. Look, if you're gonna shoot me, to make it quick, I'm a little busy. If I was going to shoot you, I wouldn't waste a beer. Wait, come on. I'm trying to dry out a bit. It's just a soda, please. Sure. Why don't you go sit down? Sitting wasn't quite my style, but I figured I'd do it anyway. Oh, boobs. Interesting haircut, by the way. I meant to tell you that. <clears throat> yeah, well. Wilson da Silva. Very good to meet you. Nice to meet you, I think. Although you'll forgive me if I promise never to employ you as my bodyguard. <laughs> you did a great job watching after Rodrigo Bronco. Fuck you. <laughs> you were set up. Bet your ass I was. Now, let me ask you something. Have you ever seen this guy? Sihano. Yep, Serrano. He's a real sweetheart. Yeah, you sure put his gang out of business. But don't worry, those guys, they're a small fry. This is the guy I'm interested in. Mustachio. And this is his little buddy here. Milo Hegel. They work for this vigilante group, Crasha Preto. Yeah, I know him. Well, they're very popular with right-wing politicians. Like Victor Bronco. Now you see, many years ago, he helped clear some villages on a bit of land Rodrigo Bronco wanted to develop. Rodrigo Bronco? Yes, he did some very bad things. Anyway, have you ever seen this guy? Mustachio, no. Maybe at the stadium. Was he I knew you were involved in that business. You know, I wanted to investigate that, but I got an order to blame it on some local street kids instead. Tell me, what happened there? Nothing. We simply went to hand over some cash to this guy's clowns for a, a ransom exchange when this guy's clowns jumped us and they shot everybody. Apart from you and your boy Passos. That's right. But we had to shoot our way out of there. <laughs> they let you go. Huh? <laughs> it's okay. It's a little weird right now. But I know that Victor Bronco 
is involved in all this. I just don't know how or why. And I know that the Ufe are involved in all this as well, but I just don't know how or why. And you know what's gonna happen? The moment is gonna come along when I put all these pieces together, and at that moment, someone is gonna come along and put a bullet in my head. <laughs> anyway, listen. I think you might want this. Hey, a gun. Thank you. I'll need it. And if it's Fabiana Branco you've come looking for, I think she's up the hill. So why don't you just go get her? I don't know. I'm a cop. I mean, I'll fight corruption. I'll stand up to the rich and dumb, but if I go up that hill right now, I'll be dead in three minutes or less. Huh. Maybe you too, Max. You're in the jungle now. So it appears. <laughs> if you survive the next hour, let's speak. You help me. And I'm gonna do what I can to help you. Good luck! I didn't know what to make of what this guy had just told me. What was true and what was just someone else's convenient bullshit. Then some less than friendly locals came in and found me in the wrong mood to party. Oh no. Keep walking. It's like the assholes from the bar in New York. Yeah, you green. No comprende. Leave me alone. <laughs> assholes are assholes in any country. Do you got something for me? For you? I'll tell you what I got. I got a gun, and if anybody thinks they're gonna take it from me, they'd be dead wrong. Oh! Boom! Drop. Ugh. Oh shit. Hey, asshole! Fuck you. Fuck! Everybody have a fucking gun in this country? Jesus! Shit! Ugh. Fuck, I missed. Shit! Hey, asshole! I'm trying to help you here! Move to the- Now you're dead. No, quit taking cover on that. Fuck you! He's dead. Damn it. That sucks. Oh, sawed off shotgun. Holy shit. What guns do I have left? Good. Yeah, I definitely want this one. I don't like that other gun. Oh, look at that! His holster works for the shotgun? Hey, pain pills. I like how he said he wants to be sober and yet he's still taking these pain pills. <laughs> music, 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 music. I listen to music. Fight the music. Oh! That guy's dead. Oh shit. Hey, golden sawn off shotgun, sweet. What's going on here? Oh, that was a shit ton of blood! Holy shit. More painkillers. Oh shit! Oh, that guy's dead. He's dead a million times over. Guess that would be everybody. Oh, sorry, naked lady. Sorry. Hey, the the fuck show is that? was over. It was time to get out of there. There's a dude hiding under that bed. Was I supposed to kill him? Uh, probably not. Alright, well, killed him. I hope he always isn't like one of those people like uh, I found that guy in the bathroom or whatever. And you're, yeah, he probably was. Son of a bitch. He got a bolt spot going on there. Well, guess we'll never know. I shot a man today. Seemed innocent enough. <laughs> 
Well, that guy kind of looks like Christian Bale a little bit. Well, I guess I'm out of here. Adios, amigos. Uh, it was